Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, yeah? The voice of hardcore boxing. Well I'm on my way to uh, to see Mick Whale and his son Josh and hopefully Dempsey will be there because he's went very well at weekend and Mick had to pull him out of Steffi's show which it's not good is it because he'd done a lot of tickets. that off there. Oof, God that was close. Uh, so it's not good is it? So hopefully Dempsey will have snapped out of his I think he got a stomach bug or food poison or something. I hope he's alright. It's better. I hope he's okay. It's uh Hopefully some videos will go up today. It's only Monday, isn't it? Like we're usually late, aren't we, with videos? But some videos should be going up at six o'clock. The UCAD one will be going up. Uh, it's all good. Getting some nice comments on videos when I get in later. I'll have a look at them. I think what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to get a camera and just go through all videos just go through all comments and because it's not nice for people to have a comment and me, for me not to reply to it. it's not interacting is it you know obviously it's nice to have fun you know there's, there's too much hate isn't there on social media uh, everybody seems to scrutinize I mean God people are more interested in I don't know what I do or and all sorts. I mean, I've had somebody ring my mate's business and be talking about me and asking things about me. My mate says, I don't know I'm, what he does, I'm not his keeper, but people seem to be interested in what I do or my relationship with Dennis or blah de blah. I mean, get a life. Stop being nosy. Stop being nosy. What you people don't know on social media, you make up, but. This is why I try not to read comments because there's a lot of negatives. <laughs> but it is what it is, isn't it? But onwards and upwards, things are going fantastically well. They couldn't be going any better. And uh, they couldn't be going any better for boxing for us at the moment. It's all good, positive stuff. I'm very happy. Very happy. Go, go! <laughs> Seeing you later, Coco, at 60 quid a pop for a valet. I can keep it. Good valet, though, but I'm paying 60 quid. Um, I've just seen a nice van for sale there. Uh, 17 plate, Bellingo or Citroen or something, a small one. Is it Bellingo? Or Kango or something? Dear, aren't they little vans? But like I said, we're hoping to get this porky wrap. Bit of free advertising, isn't it? Says so having to drive a bat in this sort of time. Because it's not practical, is it? You can't take you can't go out in a foursome in this car, there's no room. No room at all. Not in back anyway. Can't even get my kids uh, seats in back of this. I'd not be able to win a van, would I? But anyway, I'm just pulling up at Mick Wales in a minute. Uh, quick interview with Josh on how, how, how he's enjoying it. Working with Dennis Hobson Promotions. Josh is alright. Stopped in an hotel Friday night, uh, I've been told. He checks in, doesn't he, on uh, 
Does he check in on weighing day, Josh? I think he does, doesn't he? And he stops till after the fight. I think so, I'm not sure. It's nice to get into a routine, I suppose, when you're a boxer, isn't it? And you're fighting at home. I suppose it's, you're away from any distractions, all you can think about is the fight. I think that's uh, that's good on his dad's part, that, doing that. I think that's really good. And it's obviously worked well for him, hasn't it? Because he's on a good run at the moment, Josh again, isn't he? So, I fought well on Friday, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him because there were people saying to me, whoa, oh, what do you want to sign Josh for? He's had 11 losses and that one. Well, I look a little bit deeper, don't I? When you look at the fighters' records, Listen, there were people that I put to Dennis, I said, what about him, Dennis, here with five losses? Dennis went, no, 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 he's spent. What about Josh then? I said, oh, would he come? First thing he said, well, would he come? I went, yeah, I think he would. They're pretty genuine people, aren't they, Wales? But what you've got to understand is, really, Josh Wales could be, he could quite easily be 36 and 5 on his record as a 31-year-old kid who has a clean liver. He could be 36 and 5, so how could uh, how could that be a bad record? Can't be, can it? If you're going to take Tyrone Nurse, and he's similar to him, what is he? Tyrone, he's got about six losses, but you could really count half of them losses of Tyrone's, couldn't you? So, well, school fights, we've had a lot of fights, Tyrone, but. I think there's something about Josh, he's a TV fighter, isn't he? He's got that all-action style and... He looks alright at this weight, doesn't he? He said he felt good the other day. He needed a test, and... Although we worked together as a team on it, his dad actually did pick the fight. His dad picked the fight, and... So... He got some rounds on the belt, it didn't blow him away like that other guy. I think he was eager when he blew that other guy about, uh, out, Josh. To prove a point, you know, after that, the European, the, the France thing. Uh, but he got them rounds in on Friday and I'm really glad for him. It's nice to get a win, isn't it? It's been a good weekend for kids around here, isn't it? Pity about Paul Scaff losing, isn't it? Uh, Josh's fighter, but Josh won. Uh, Glyn Rhodes as lad runs Yusuf and Kane and Tommy and uh, young Anthony Tomlinson won in style by knockout so he's he's coming on now Anthony you get a you'll get a British title shot Anthony next year I think I think he'll be a travesty if he can uh, I want to see him in with Co Josh Kelly me I think he could put it on Josh Kelly. If he beat Josh Kelly, God, he would be in the mix then, money for something big. But, no. So it's all good positive stuff, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, I've come out without any money on me now. I know there was something I wanted. What time is it? Oh, I'll have to do it in the morning. There's always something, isn't there? I'm forgetting. I'm rushing about that. I'm going to film Dennis tomorrow instead of uh, today. I just haven't had enough time. I've had that much on. You know, I'm going to have to run back and forwards from. But it is what it is. So I'm just pulling up outside mix, Jim here. I've got a parking spot. Oh, look at that. Pulling straight onto the parking spot. Porky pig. Have you got some pigs? Have a look. Have a look. Right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And I'll get this on now and then we'll do a little bit of a. Uh, an episode on Wyoming, I'll put it into one for you. Alright, thanks.
I'm going to wear my glasses as well. And put them there. Put that on there. Don't wanna, we don't want to get lens wet because it's peeing it down. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. It's the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and I am joined by Josh Whale from Barnsley. How are you doing Josh? Yeah good Russ, thanks you. How are you feeling after your win at Featherweight at the weekend? Yeah, all good, it were uh, a good performance, I felt yeah. good, I felt, felt strong. So Eight good rounds, Josh and Yeah, back. yeah, it were, uh, were all together good, pal, I think it went well. How did you feel at the weight, Josh? Yeah, good, I've, uh, obviously I've had one fight before, that all ended in a round, this one with eight, so uh, i got to show me full repertoire of what I can do, and I'm all happy, I'm confident, I feel stronger weight, I think, uh, you know, I'm going to take some beating part. It was a full repertoire of your shots, yeah. We've got that uppercut a lot more than what I've seen. Yeah, you know. yeah, uh, yeah, just to uh, show, show you everything I can do, really. Yeah. yeah. I, I softened him up a bit first off, and I showed a bit of boxing, and then I went back to, you know, yeah. just showing me experience, really. Yeah. Yeah, and did, did you feel strong after eight rounds off? Could you have done another four rounds? Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're strong at the weight now, you've had two wins with Dennis, two at featherweight, first round knockout, and an eight round, eight nil. Yeah. So basically, you've not lost a, lost, not lost a minute yet, have yeah. you? Not yet, no, it's just You're feeling good, good at the weight. November 29th, yeah. is that going to be the last fight, non title fight before 2020? No beginnings. Yeah, yeah, pro probably we'll, we'll meet with Dennis and see what he's got to say, see what see what he's got planned with my dad and see see what happens, Paul. And uh, yeah, like you say, I'm uh, I'm playing and I, I'm not. I don't think uh, probably people wrong or what. It's just I, I know what I you I had a lot 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 more to gear and yeah. uh, I'm still I'm still showing it. I mean. Uh, I, I probably showed stuff on Friday night that I've not shown in my career before, so um, yeah. I've lived right life, I've dedicated myself to boxing. I mean, people say, oh yeah, he lives, li he lives life, he lives life, and I've lived life, you know what I mean? I've done yeah. uh, I've done everything right. And are you, um, are you, it paid dividends, and yeah. you know, and people think I've had an hard career, I ain't had an hard career, it's been easy. Yeah. Uh, I've had a few faces, yeah, I've had 42, but. I've liberated and I think that, that, that stands for a lot in this, uh, you know, uh, this part of my career. Yeah, uh, your opponent Josh, now there were a few people, we don't know because these are faceless people on social media, yeah. but they, they, they have funny names like Logger 9 or John 62 or <laughs> a few of them were saying, ah, oh, he's a knockover, he's from Thailand, he's this, he's that, but the kid were actually pretty tough on him. He yeah, tough, he's both strong, he had a bull neck on him. Yeah, his box a lot bigger uh, kids than me, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Could you feel that it clinches you were strong, Josh? Eh, uh, not really, I can't, I can't really How say. How did you what, feel it clinches? Yeah, I felt, I, 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 I can't really say. I, 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 I'd, uh, I cost him more as durable than, uh, than strong, like, I see what took some uh, good shots, but he's been in with, he's been in with lightweights, you know what I mean? He, yeah. He's got, you know, he's probably uh, got used to taking, taking ammo, like. Mm. What are you looking at doing now then, Josh? Having a couple of weeks, your dad going to ring you in a couple of weeks and then you're probably going to start again? Yeah. Ready for end of November? Yeah, as you can see, I mean, yeah. I mean, Jim can eat training all kids, so... And what are you going to look to do? Get, finish off the year with another win? Yeah. Then going into next year? Yeah. Uh, on a good run of featherweight wins? Yeah. Dennis knows, knows I, I want to become a free weight champion soon, so... Yeah, you want to, uh, yeah. I think he... I think probably one more than, than uh, a big yeah. title fight then. For a belt. Yeah, push on then, Paul. Mm. So far, uh, push is on. Is everything alright working with Dennis? You're happy with everything? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think he's yeah, given me a uh, you life. Pretty easy and all that, yeah? Yeah, he's given me your life. He, uh, we'll get on with Dennis and we we'll, we'll get a job done, Paul. It's, yeah. Uh, We've got a good relationship and it's, everything's working well, isn't it? Yeah, good. And everything's happy. Yeah, is your family alright and that's Yeah, all good, yeah. Your dad's watch for boxing. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. I picked him up Saturday morning. Tell him we're going to watch Fate, we're going to watch Fate. Oh, do you all watch it together? Yeah, like? yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mikey, yeah. It's pretty close, isn't it, tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mikey, yeah. I think he's watched about 25 times already. So. <laughs> he's, he's got them all on. He's got uh, the last fight, Bobby Jenkinson. He's got that yeah, one. Yeah, he yeah, flicks yeah. up. He, he flicks yeah, he, 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 flicks, he flicks through a wall and watches them top one. Mm. 
So it's all good in the whale house, all that yeah. It's nice to, to have a nice win, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And everybody to be happy. Yeah, it felt good for me. Uh, Look, well, well, you're happy after you weren't, yeah. you weren't even tired, were you? No, I mean... Uh, felt strong, Josh, didn't Yeah, you? yeah. I, I'm experienced that, but it's, uh, mm. people said to me, I don't... You know, you, you, you feel different because it's just, it's just like another day now. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't feel nervous. You, you feel a bit apprehensive, I suppose, but you just, it's just like another day because you've been there that many times before. I noticed a couple of little things that you did in just the little moves here and there that old pros do, you know, where yeah. you have a little breather and yeah. just little things that I've noticed that I've picked up and yeah. you know, watch for this, watch for that. You don't do that when you're young, I suppose. No, you? you don't. You, you, you learn, you learn a. Uh, you learn a lot of things as you go through your career. Yeah. Um, but you know, if I, if I had my career again, I'd do it. I'd do it all again. I'd, you know, I don't don't be so much. I'd change uh, about me uh, about me what I've done. But you just pick stuff up as you, as you yeah. go. Brilliant. Well, well, that's good then. Uh, so there's no. We're not going to mention any names at the moment because we don't want to get gained away. Because there's a lot of people that. Well, quite a few people that want to block you and stop you getting forward. So we're going to keep it close to his chest this time. What plans are? Yeah. But there's big things planned. I, I do know that. Um, let's get November 29th out of the way. Yeah. Get you can all have a nice Christmas, all you yeah. and Mike and your dad and everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll go again in 2020. But two far, two, sorry, November 29th next. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's the third out in the February. Yeah. So and a vote, no, thanks for coming on, Channel Josh. No worries. Me, you know, that time. Thank you very much and Thanks all the best to you and your family mate. Cheers pal. Well I enjoyed that uh, quick interview with uh, Josh, a cup of tea with his dad. Cheers for red onions uh, Mick. <laughs> you can't get them where I live in. Uh, local supermarket they didn't have any well they didn't have any uh, when i last went for some so red onions from mexpa most welcome into that picture sorted yeah well nobody ever said it was going to be easy did they uh it's been a long day for me today quarter past seven and i'm on my way home so like that, a quarter past seven from what's that, seven, ten hours, ten hours today, boxing related stuff. It's all good, positive stuff, isn't it? Uh, I enjoyed that interview with Josh. It's, it's very easy to interview with Josh Whale because before interview, he doesn't say things like, oh, well, let's not speak about this, well, let's not speak about that. It's just straight, and the answers just straight, and you know, it's uh, his dad's here like that, sat next to me, so there's no liberty is going to be took with Josh, I don't think. Uh, they're good people and that, and become good mates, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Really, boxing sort of brings people together, doesn't it? There's no snideness or anything like that. I'd uh, pretty easy people to work with. I can see why Steffi enjoyed working with him. But I think I think he did well for them, Steffi. But I think sometimes if you have a couple of losses and that, it's good to freshen things up. But, but, uh, but it's all all good positive stuff. And you know, he's just had two wins there at featherweight. Josh uh, going into weight that weight nicely now isn't he? I mean Andre Ward how many fights did he have at light heavyweight before he went after Kovalev so you know what I mean it's, Rome wasn't built in a day and Josh Wales not going to be built in a day at feather, uh, featherweight is he although he's doing well isn't he he's not lost a he ain't lost a round yet at featherweight with us so that's good isn't it that's really good so I'm really really pleased how it's uh, how it's appertaining. Is that a good word? Appertaining. Uh, so that's about it, really. Just a case of well, I was left on this now. I'm just gonna go home now and have some uh, 
red onion. I think I'm gonna have a salad. I don't, I've never been a salad fan, as you can see, but I've got red onion. I have a slice of bread with some cheese and red onion on with no crust, and I'll eat half of it. And then my band will struggle then. It's just nice to get some normal food down. I'm fed up of milkshakes and fisherman's pies, shepherd's pies, and stuff like that. I just want to have some normal food down, but it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's all good positive stuff, all good positive stuff and they're easy to work with, that's not a problem working with Josh and Mick. Uh, it's easy working with Glyn and, and Tommy but there's uh, there's a lot of things behind the scenes when we want, I don't have as much input with Tommy as, as I'd like, uh, obviously Dennis and Tommy's got a bit of a big team behind him and all sorts of people having a say in it so it's all, it's all good isn't it but we make I, I enjoy it because he always says well, what do you think about this so should we meet for a couple and we'll talk about it and it's nice he don't, uh, it's nice that Mick, Mick's like that he gives you opportunity to put your spot not to put your spoke in, to put you to put your input in, and uh, I don't really get that. I don't think with Tommy much, but that's not my fault, is it? It's uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, maybe they want to pick Tommy's fight as well. They picked a corker for Tommy at weekend, didn't they? Maybe they should have let me and Mick Whale do a matchmaking on that one. What do you think, Dennis? <laughs> Oink, oink. Hashtag oink, oink. But the good positive things about that for Tommy Frank now is he got 12 rounds in a life and death under his belt and he knows he can do it 12 rounds. So that's the positive. So I don't know what's going to happen with Tommy now. Maybe they might rein him in for November. Maybe he might not fight or he might. Just have a, a run out, just a, just a knock over, I don't know, but I've got Glyn Rhodes on video today saying that they're happy for that fight to go ahead with Sonny Edwards next summer, so that's all good isn't it, it's, we're going to see aren't we now, but it'd be nice to see that fight happening, good fight isn't it, two, two styles there, Tommy the pressure fighter and the Sonny, the matador isn't it, even if he is a little bit leery, that Sonny, he can fight, can't he? Nobody's saying he can't fight, are they? Oh, do you know what I forgot? Sporting Icon. Sporting Icons. Should have been on Sporting Icon at 7 o'clock. Woo! Look at that. You're parking there for, man! Your back end's hanging out! Look at that, man! Jesus! Uh, oh, another one here, is it me or is it Monday morning? Monday, Monday evening blues! Uh, so, it's all good positive stuff! Got this call here off Dennis. Look at that, I'm not even done yet. So, the perils of working in the boxing industry of Mr. Dennis Hobson. Oh my God. Are we going to achieve anything this year? Well, I hope so. I want to see Josh Whale pick up a belt. What belt, I don't know. Probably a Commonwealth. But we're going to see, aren't we? I want to see him win a belt. I'll be first in his ring if he wins a belt. I'll be in that wing, I'll be in that ring quicker than Eddie Hearn when Frotch did Butte. Yeah, I'll be in that ring quicker than Eddie Hearn. Because it was me that signed Josh, wasn't it? When all the naysayers all kept having a little chip, didn't they? All kept having a little chip. And you know what? Anybody who says it's water off a duck's back, nah, it's not nice, is it? People having a dig at you, saying, what, do you, what are you signing Josh for? You don't know what you're on about, Porky, blah, blah, blah. 
you start questioning yourself, don't you? I do. I said, oh God, what am I doing here? I've got it right. And then I think, no. You go watch them train, don't you, and speak to Josh, and, and there's a lot happier, isn't it, at that weight? An happy fighter is a good fighter. An happy fighter is a good fighter. Go on, then. Go on, then. Don't go. Uh, an happy fighter is a good fighter, isn't it? So, Josh looks happy. I'm not saying he went happy when he was Steffi Bull, but it's... I think that weight thing's a big thing for fighters nowadays. I think it's... If they're struggling with weight, they can't perform as good as what they, what they, what they want to do, can they? Or they can't perform as good as when they're in camp. Because when it comes down to losing that weight that last couple of weeks and that, it probably weakens them, doesn't it? So I'm just glad that Josh has found the weight that he's happy with because... He, he, he says he's a featherweight, so that's good, isn't it? So I, I want him to be happy as a featherweight. And he looks strong, doesn't he? That kid had been fighting welterweight, so Josh has just beat. It's a great fight, that he's just won. It's all about growing into weight. I know a lot of people were, emailed me and were saying, Ah, oh, Porky, Josh, is, were, Josh Whale were a world-ranked fighter at uh, bantamweight, and now look who he's fighting. Well, yeah, it's a featherweight, and he's going again, in here in a different way. You know, and you, he'll have to build up to that level that he's at with bantamweight, won't it? It takes time, doesn't it? We're rebuilding him after two losses. And part of the rebuilding process is all this, isn't it? All this running about here, and back and forward, and meetings, and... It's a sport like any other, isn't it? It's better than knocking cars out, though, isn't it? If you can knock odd one out to put a bit of petal in your car, it's not so bad, is it? Better than having a car pitch and Tony Bellew's fans coming down and fly tipping though, isn't it? <laughs> that pissed me off that day, but what can you do? But it's onwards and upwards, so I'm just about home now. I'm gonna get my tea now. Poxy Sarni for my tea, yeah. Billy No mates. Another meal eating alone, eh? What's the world coming to? Shout out to Nicola at Climate Cool. Shout out to Steve Crump. Me and you need to have a sit down about what we spoke about the other day, Steve. Will you be the man of your word? Steve Crump from Cozy Homes. Shout out to Steve Aylin at Orchid Palm Homes. And uh, I'll have to do Dennis's in. Get in there, man, on that. Dennis's interview tomorrow. Just a case of getting Dennis on the channel now and Tommy. Tyrone Nurse don't even want to be into it. I mean, he don't. He hardly sells tickets, Tyrone. He's not into all that media stuff and that, but this is part and parcel of the boxing industry, isn't it? You've got to get yourself out there. And uh, it's a shame, that, because he's a good fighter, Tyrone, but some people just don't like Cameron, doesn't like Andy Town and. Yeah, I once put a, a camera in front of Andy Town and then he, he basically just went red and ran off. He just don't like it. Some boxers don't like it. They do the talking it ring, but anyway, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Keep them comments coming, all you people. Keep them comments coming and keep guessing about what what I do and what my next move is. Keep it guessing because I think it's hilarious. All right.